If you should go into the woods tonight, the chase, Lucy's recurring nightmare, as it happens. The story is told in the present tense. There's a noise. Lucy wakes up and it's dark in her room. She feels her heart jumping. But she stays still for a moment, listening. Listening to the night. There's nothing. Just silence. She gets up very quietly and tiptoes to the door. She opens it slowly and pokes her head out. She sees nothing because it's very dark. She turns the light on. Nothing. She feels hot and decides to walk to the bathroom. She wants to wash her face with cold water. She opens the door. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. All over the bathroom walls, on the floor and in the bathtub, is a dead woman. She's been stabbed many times. Lucy stands there, looking at the body, frozen with fear. She thinks, how is this possible? Who is she? My God, what's happened? Who did this? And where is he now? She hears a sound behind her. She turns and there's a man with a chainsaw. He turns it on. <coughs> Lucy screams. No! And runs. She runs downstairs. Then to the front door. The man chases her. She hears the sound of the chainsaw. It's not far behind her. She opens the front door and runs down the street. It's cold. She's only wearing some underwear. She runs hard and her heart beats hard too. No one else is around except for the madman. Lucy thinks, what does he want? Why me? She runs to the end of the street and turns a corner. The sound of the chainsaw gets quieter. Lucy thinks, great, I'm losing him. I'm quicker than him. I can get away. I can escape. As she turns into another street, it turns into a field. It's the field near her granddad's place. She hasn't been there for years. Her granddad had died three years ago. The field's empty. She's exhausted from the running. She slows to a walk and keeps looking out for the madman with the chainsaw. She sees nothing. She relaxes a little and hears a bird singing. It's almost light now. Then, as if out of nowhere, the madman and his chainsaw are there again. She screams. She cries and she starts running again. The madman is close behind her. The noise of the chainsaw is loud. She can almost feel the closeness of the chainsaw. She runs harder and harder. But the sound doesn't get quieter this time. It's still just behind her. She feels she's going to die from running, but she keeps going. There's a hedge. She somehow jumps it. And so does the madman. She looks behind, and he swings the chainsaw towards her. She ducks, and it misses her. But then, 
she falls she's on the ground the madman rises the chainsaw above her and then down she wakes up covered in sweat she's still in her bedroom and she hears a noise <laughs>